This is question 10 from book one based on the 2020 NEC by electricaltime.com. You installed four aught copper conductors in PVC conduit vertically. What is the max distance that these conductors must be supported vertically? A. It's a trick question. No such thing as vertical supports in the NEC for conductors and raceways. B. 40 feet. C. 60 feet. Or D. 80 feet. Just want to take 30 seconds to let you know what we do here at electricaltime.com. We do online electrical classes from the comfort of your home. And then we also have this free service. So if you click on the subscribe for free NEC questions, Monday through Friday, you'll get an NEC code question and an answer sent to your email. All right, so back to our video. And the answer is D, 80 feet. All right, so let's take a look at how we found this answer in our code book. And the first question that we're going to ask ourselves is what article are we talking about here? And that is going to be article 300. And that's called general requirements for wiring methods and materials. And that's within chapter three, wiring methods and materials. And now we look at the parts and we see part one, general requirements. And then we see table 300 dot 19 a spacing for conductor supports and we'll take a look at the table in a little bit but let's just read you know what we got here so as we see here in table 300.19 spacing for conductor supports depends on the conductor material and length we are required to provide conductor supports for those conductors in vertical raceways once the vertical length limits of table three uh, 300.19a are met. If you have ever pulled conductors vertically through a raceway, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The conductors have a certain amount of weight per foot, which is dependent on the conductor material, circular mills, and insulation type. Each type and size conductor is designed to be able to withstand a certain amount of pulling force in pounds once that limit is exceeded the conductor can be damaged and or break completely we want to have the supports for these vertical conductors at certain intervals of length so that the conductors are not damaged during installation and possible removal at some later date uh, take a look at uh, 300.19 c for the methods of supports in your code book. Uh, we see from table 300.19a that four or AWG conductor is grouped on the line which says two aught uh, through four aught. And if we look all the way to the last column, which is for copper, we see that the max distance for the vertical support is 80 feet. All right, so again, you know, when we read the question, it was asking us, you know, what is going to be that maximum vertical support? And we're being told that this is going to be four aught copper in you know PVC conduit, and it's a vertical installation. So let's go take a look at the table together and see if we can you know find this answer nice and easy. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to look at the size of wire, and we are going to find four aught. And we find it over here where it says two aught through four aught. And now we're going to look, we've got copper over here. So if we extend that all the way over here to the end, we can see that copper is going to give us 80 feet. And that's the answer. Um, while we're looking at this table, I just want to mention something about something called NFPA link. And that's where you can have the code book on your phone. And it's really cool. And I'll write it down. So, uh, you know, just go to the NFPA.org website. 
and that's for the National Fire Protection Association. And then you're going to go check out something called the NFPA link. And it is super cool. It's about $10 a month and you get the code book on your phone. You can search for things. It's an absolute must if you are a professional electrician or if you're an electrical inspector out there. All right. So that is the answer to this question. And that's going to be 80 feet. All right. See you on the next question.